Oh, a letter from my little sister. I haven't heard from her in a while. I wonder how she's doing. Let's see. Doing well. Good grades. Upcoming concert. New boyfriend. Not without my approval! She looks guilty. What did you do this time, Apple Bloom? That you're old enough to stay home alone and take care of the chores yourself for the afternoon! That's all? Jeez, don't scare me like that. On my own! Uh, careful with the merchandise! You know, it's things like that that are probably the reason they had to have a conference on whether or not you can handle this in the first place. There's some soup for you in the refrigerator, and take little sips. If you gulp, you could get hiccups. That seems unnecessary. But you trust me and believe I'm growing up enough to handle this, right? I wonder how many times I've had this exact same conversation with my parents. Okay, great, see you soon, bye. Now I'm suspicious. Kids are only that excited about something like that when they're up to something. I didn't write down that if she wants to get a spoon out of the drawer, she needs to open the drawer first. Applejack, I think she's capable of figuring that out on her own. You go on ahead and make your delivery. This won't end well. Stop her, please! Make sure the Hanson Bowes closet is fully stocked. But what about the traveling bonnets? Family's way more important than pies. Didn't we establish a few weeks ago that your family is a pie? Whoa! <laughs> now I've heard of dropping the spaghetti before, but this is ridiculous. Huh? Uh, when did you even have time to do that? I'm actually not mad at that. That wheelbarrow is probably a lot easier to handle now. You've gone and baby-proofed everything! Oh, that is the line. You know, Applejack, getting hurt a few times is the only way that kids can get tougher. Double! And that's the reason I asked y'all to come over quick. Seriously? A crib? Applejack, I know it must have been a shock to come home and see the house in disarray. But right now, the only way that you could possibly cross more lines is to shrink yourself down to Appletini with the poison joke and take a gingerly stroll across the course of perfilously striped hindquarters. Granny said that they were going to some incredibly hard to reach town. And now comes the part where the coddling breeds resentment and leads the subject to rebel and get themselves in over their heads. I'll be cursed if I haven't seen it a dozen times before. See? It'll look just like you're sleeping in bed. Oh, I'm sure Applejack will love it if she comes into the room and finds that Apple Bloom is suddenly orange with purple hair. I don't need her watching over me. Stop! Thank you, Scootaloo. I could tell that that song was going to be grating from the first note. Did I hear a cough? Want a glass of water? Okay, this has gotten beyond ridiculous now. Wow, Apple Bloom will be so glad to hear that! We were so close! Oh great, now all we need are the rats of unusual size. You know, I should really get better at keeping my mouth shut. Oh, never mind. That's a lot worse than the rats of unusual size. Well, this suddenly got very intense. No! Don't go back for the cart, are you nuts? One more pass. Coming around. You're a knight of the round table. In that case, I shall have to kill you. Oh, quick, get the sword out. I want to cut his head off. Oh, cut your own head off. Yes, do us all a favor. Oh, stop bitching and let's go and have tea. Oh, all right, all right, all right. We'll kill him first and then have tea and biscuits. And that ladies and gentlemen, is a fair portion of the reason why I'd go for a girl like Applejack. Why is that guy dancing like Charlie Brown on a table? And if you hadn't snuck out like you did, maybe I wouldn't have figured that out. You know, she's really lucky. I had to go through this several times before my family started trusting me.